Hey guys and gals, wanted to uh, give you all a uh, server room update and share some new switches I have bought. I have uh, go went ahead and got them in place uh, in both of the uh, server cabinets and I rewired and so I figured I've already got one all the way back operational because that one is um, and in pretty heavy use I'm running quite a few services uh, in the other server cabinet this one uh, not so much so we can go down at time so I just got done wrapping up so I want to show you guys the new um, uh, router I got and the new switches and so I hope you guys find it very interesting so this is the cabinet I've reworked it and as you can see Got our nice Velcro, everything's nice, all of our lines running off. Got my PDU, uh, my 48 port patch panel. Got another switch. This is an old switch. This is a new router I just got. This is a Cisco system. I think it's about the size of a server, guys. Um, these are extremely expensive. I'm not going to tell you how much they are, but they, trust me, they're extremely expensive. Uh, below that we have a note so these two right here are new guys and I also have just installed this Cisco this is a small business um, VPN router so you can see that and that's what this I use the red patch cable to signify that that's going into the VPN um, so I figured I would start everything back up for you guys and show you the other the other cabinet um this router it starts up like a server it's pretty pretty funny actually so i'm gonna let you guys check it out hopefully you can hear it all right so i just cut it on Yeah, but that's a uh, really, really, that's a top of the line router, guys. And so I'm incorporating that into the network. And it does this, it does a, what I call a, a, a pre boot, um, like systems check. And that's what it's doing now. Kind of very, very similar to servers. And then after 30, 40 seconds, it powers itself down to a normal. Uh, power state normal running um, all right now while that's doing we're going to go ahead and get all these other switches going so I can get this server fire back on down here so we'll go ahead and as you can hear she lowered herself down so we'll get these other switches plugged in you can see the VPNs now coming online Switch is now online. All right. Server coming online. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you some of the new switches that I had installed in into this big server cabinet. And uh, kind of what it looks like now. I've, like I said, I reworked all the wires and everything, so it's got really, really nice um, wire management now. Looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm actually really, really uh, proud of of uh, how well I, I was able because there's a lot of wires in there, guys. A lot more than you think. Just looking from this angle. So let's take you over to the other one and. Um, let you guys check out what I got going on over here. Uh, the lighting doesn't seem to be as good, so give me a second. Let me try to work with some of these these cameras. Some of the light. I got some more lighting, guys, to try to help with lighting in here. There we go. Well, uh, kind of, sort of. It's working a little better. 
All right, so this is the other cabinet, guys. Um, I finally got my fiber put in. That's what this is right here. Running into converters. And see, so what this does is it takes the fiber signal and it converts it and able to transmit it over Cat 6. So that's what those are. So I now I got a fiber running. I finally got the fiber hookup going on. And uh, I have two of them right now coming off on these redundant switches on this switch. And this is another new switch up here, guys. Uh, this is a, uh, a net gear. It's, it's a, I mean, four or $500 switch. Nothing like this Dell down here. Um, this this is a very very expensive switch. Uh, this is a level three switch. You can console into it and do a bunch of other things. Um, they both have gigabyte connections, as you can see. This one up here also. But I've got it stacked uh, into this switch, and then I've also got one fiber connected, one fiber connection coming off into this switch, and another fiber connection as redundancy going off into this one, along with a normal Ethernet going into this one. So. Yeah, guys, so those are my new switches that I got installed. I wanted to show it to you. Had to rework a bunch of wiring. Finally got my fiber up. Makes me excited. I think I accidentally unplugged that one. There we go. She's back online now. So, Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Got a lot more to come.